something I got from an electronics vendor. They say, would you like to review this? And it's like, I will, if I could give away some to uh, you guys. And they agreed to give another one away. So this is what we got. The rest of it is empty. Came from the US, surprisingly. But let's see. You know what it is? Well, the title probably said what it is. <laughs> well, that's the first thing uh, I could say about this review. It is well packaged. This is on a plastic box that's very sturdy looking. It should. Yep, that's pretty solid. I suppose uh, some of these plastic could get broken in transit, but it survived in double box. I mean, there's this box and there's a box that you saw earlier. I better close this before I hurt myself. Let's uh, get a closer look. A lot of stuff to be expected it's the super starter kit they have a couple of different kinds of kits thank you card very nice oh one other thing i noticed when i was trying to decide whether i want to review this or not is i noticed that they have this whole documentation online so you can actually go to their website download this for free oh there's a url right here elegood.com slash downloads and so you can actually preview what's in here uh, you can preview all the lessons that's in there before you even buy the kit so i thought that was pretty cool and they are very good i'll show you a little bit later but yeah we got everything what you would expect very well packed just like my previous kit that i got from china i don't think i could put it back in here because uh, they always you put a lot of stuff in here the joystick you've seen this before where there's a an analog joystick put this on here somehow yep so you could press that or you can move this in or direction for the analog so I don't know if we really need to go through every single one of these parts you could probably just like I said go to the website and go look at all the pieces they have everything you would expect shift register like 25 LEDs some RGB LEDs this is something I like about the better kits they not only include a servo but they also include a stepper motor let's see if I can find that oh this one you actually also include a motor so you got three different kinds of uh, motors i got the regular just rotating motor for this fan i guess and they got the stepper which is usually doesn't come with these kits and they have a servo somewhere which usually does come with a kit so we have all three somewhere in here oh it come with a battery that's cool Oh yeah, let's see how good this breadboard is. Usually they come with a pretty cheap, crappy breadboard. So I'd be interested to see if like, oh yeah, that looks pretty good. The cheaper ones you could really see because in here you could sometimes see the metal, but you do not see the metal here, which means they're spread out correctly. Let's see how well they fit though. Oh, it comes, well, it's pretty tight, but it, yeah. So the cheaper ones you would go like this and you push it and it wouldn't pull, it wouldn't go in because you know you're 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 hitting that metal that is uh not not spread out correctly but these look pretty good very very tight actually this is tighter than usually uh, I've noticed in other breadboard which is fine as long as it doesn't get stuck trying to stick it in and this is one of those that's uh, contiguous some of the cheaper breadboards Let's see if I can find my cheaper breadboards. Yeah, some of the cheaper breadboard don't have that. This is a cheap one I got from China. They are separated, so I actually have to put a wire to make it go across. Without that, this is together, that's together, but these two are separate. So that's really annoying. So, great breadboard, Elegoo. Yeah, I think, uh, like I said, I, there's no need to uh, go through all these. They are what you expect. Oh, there's a servo, regular 9G servo, like the one I use on my uh, little walking robot. Love the seven segment displays. They get a four digit big one oh the same size but one digit versus four digits everything seemed to be pretty good quality oh yeah let's look at the arduino see how, how good the quality of the arduino is they got their own branding so they didn't just get this from aliexpress so they actually make these for themselves very nice very very uh, good quality pcb oh i like that that's nice being able to see the labels over here in, the, in addition to over there oh it's on the other side too 
So no matter what angle you're having the, the this, you could see it here, you could see it on the other side, or you could see it down. So that's very nice touch. I like that. But let's go play with it and see what we could build. So here is one of the lessons. I'll see the display. It actually works. Nice. Well, I don't know if you guys noticed, but there are no keypads on this calculator. Because the kit didn't come with a keypad. It comes with a whole bunch of little tiny buttons like this, but there's only five of these. So, how do you enter numbers into a calculator that doesn't have a keyboard? Well, luckily, even though it doesn't come with a keyboard, it comes with one of these. This is an infrared remote. It has all the numbers that I need, but it doesn't have any plus, minus, and multiplication and things like that. But I noticed that there's a plus right there, volume plus and volume minus. So I use that for add and subtract. And so let me show you. Unsurprisingly, even though the infrared receiver is pointing up, it's quite sensitive. I could put it right down here and I could actually put the numbers right there, you know, even though it's not directly pointing at it. So it's pretty sensitive. And to do a plus, like I said, you press the volume plus and that has plus now. And then I don't know, to uh, the decimal point is right, this one right here, because there's no decimal point. So I put a decimal point here, one, four, and then to do, it's kind of blurry. Sorry about the lighting, guys. And then you just, uh, to do the equal sign, you press the equ equalizer, of course, EQ. <laughs> and there's the answer. So yeah, it has, a, I use the fast forward or multiply. I don't know, multiply by two. And then uh, you can stack the operation too. So after a multiply, before you don't have to press equal, you can just immediately say uh, plus something. So that's twice of that, 6.28. And then you immediately do a plus one and so on and so forth. So I thought it was a cool project. And that's my Easter egg. This one brings my name out. <laughs> I'll share the code in the description if you're interested. So this is the content of the zip file that I downloaded from the website because I don't know where my CD-ROM drive is. <laughs> so let's see what's in there. The very first thing you, you should open, of course, is a readme first. So this tells you what's on these folders. There are tutorials in different languages in here. So they tell you, select a folder of your language. So mine is English. Surprisingly, there's no Chinese in here. So in there, you'll find a preparation. It tells you what's in the kit and things like that in here. You can see what's in the kit. And then they give you a little bit of explanation as to what an Arduino is. Tells you all the ports and things like that. So, you know, it starts very, very basic. And it tells you how to install um, the IDE. Very detailed, step by step. How to hook it up and things like that. So I won't open every single one of these, but you get an idea that it basically walks you through. And then these are all the lessons in here. So there's uh, 14 lessons. I have not opened all of them, but the ones I've opened, they're all pretty good. So this is the one that you saw earlier, LCD display. So it has the actual sketch there, and it has the uh, the wiring diagram in here, both as a schematic and as a breadboard layout, so you don't even have to know how to read the schematic, so that's nice. And then finally, of course, there is the code. Let's go back up. The last one is even more complicated, They where they use multiple things like 11 segment display and the uh, shift register, stepper motor, and controlling it with the IR remote. So these are more complicated instead of just using one component, you're using multiple components in the project. One interesting thing they did is they gave you this file. They say if you're running into any library issues, they walk you through this thing here in which you basically copy the whole library folder into the Arduino library folder. And I have mixed feelings about that. On one hand, it guarantees that things will work because in here are all the libraries that they use in all their examples. On the other hand, if you have any of these libraries in your Arduino library, it's probably going to clobber them. And the next time you upgrade your Arduino IDE, you're probably going to have to reinstall these. But for beginners, I think this is a good way to guarantee that they're not going to run into any issues because the libraries that they've included in, in this folder are exactly the right version that they're going to need for the examples. And finally, they even included a whole bunch of data sheets. I mean, look at this. Not all these components comes with a kit, mind you. But, you know, if you ever want to know about 
the PIR sensor. You just open up one of these uh, and you don't have to like Google them up and not sure if that is exactly the sensor that you have. So I think Alago did a really good job providing you with information to maximize your success rather than uh, stumbling around on the internet looking for documentation. And they try to teach you some programming skills instead of just spoon feeding you the sketches. Let me show you what I mean. I was very surprised to find a, uh, an input pull up in one of these examples. Where did I see that? I think it was in here. So, yeah, right here. So, instead of wiring a 1K resistor for these push button switches, they actually introduce you to the input pull up. It uses the built in resistor that is in the Atmega chip of the Arduino. I thought it was cool that they explain how this works instead of, like I said, simply spoon feeding them the sketch and not explaining why it's wired this way and there's no resistor. So as I mentioned, Elegoo has kindly agreed to give away one of these for one of you guys. All you need to do to enter is to simply put a comment so I know that you guys want one of these and then go to the URL that is in the video description that will bring you to here. Put in your name and email address so I could contact you if you are the winner. The winner will be picked at random so everybody got equal chance. Elegu also asked if you guys could follow them on Twitter. That's their Twitter address, Elegu underscore official. And I would appreciate it if you follow me on Twitter, at HarryMakes. So that's it. Good luck, and I'll see you next time. Bye.